Hey YouTube, this is RD Clutch for Clutch Reviews. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Streamlight Nano Light. This is a keychain light, it's single white LED. Uh, runs on four uh, coin batteries, which are basically watch batteries. And it's uh, very compact, very small, very lightweight. Um, I'm going to take some quick measurements here. It's an inch and a half long, about half an inch diameter. And then the full length is, I think, about two and a half when I measured it last time. So, this is what it looks like on a set of keys. Just clip it on like that. Uh, very small. You're not going to really notice this light uh, on your keys uh, when you have it on there. So, weighs about 0.36. I mean, that's what they say on the package. So, it's very light. It's made out of aluminum alloy, what they call aircraft grade. I mean, a lot of the LED manufacturers nowadays are marketing their you know, material as aluminum grade. Um, if I get around to it, I'll add a link to where you can read a little bit more about aluminum alloys and uh, what those things mean. But basically, uh, LED lights produce a lot of energy and a lot of heat. So aluminum is really good because it dissipates that heat really well. So um, that's why LED lights are, are using aluminum. So uh, I want to do a quick light test and talk a little bit about this light and the fact that it doesn't have a reflector. So when I turn the light on, you basically turn it on by turning it counterclockwise, but you can see here, you know, when I turn the light on in the dark, the light just shoots out in all sorts of directions. There's no reflector there to basically focus this light or focus this beam. So what you get is a wide, very floody light uh, in the dark, which I think, you know, it's great for a keychain light. If you're, uh, you know, in your car and you're looking for something or you're walking the dog around and you want to cover a lot of space with, without having to kind of, you know, redirect your light every which way, a floodlight is really good for that. Um, it doesn't have, you know, a focus beam, so it covers a lot of space. Um, versus, you know, this is my stream light, micro stream light. And you can see here, you know, this light has a reflector. So what happens is that the beam is much more focused. As you can see, as it comes out, it's much more focused. You know, this is good for really distance and you want to see something far away, that's good for that. No reflector, light goes everywhere, covers a lot of space. Again, I think, you know, great design for a keychain light where you're not really looking to, you know, shine something intensely. You know, if you're looking to read a map, you're going to want something that's kind of floody. So that's kind of, you know, like I said, this, it doesn't have a reflector. So you'll see here, there's no reflector and that allows the light to shoot out. I think that's a great design and I like that a lot. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about this twist on off function. You twist it off clockwise, you get the four coin batteries. The thread on this is very thin. You know, there's an O-ring here to make it waterproof uh, or weatherproof. It's not really waterproof, um, but the threading is thin, so it's easy that you can just kind of twist this all the way off without much effort. But you basically screw it on like this. I'm not a, I mean, I'm not a big fan of this. You know, screw on, screw off to turn on and off. You know, mag lights have that. Um, I just think it's too easy to you know, accidentally, you know, twist this off uh, without too much effort. So I'm not a big fan of that. But, you know, I think what you can do is add a little bit of grease here on the threading or chapstick or something to 
make it a little more hard to turn. I think that'll solve some problems with this potentially coming off. Uh, so you turn it on like this and it comes completely on. You know, this light, you'll notice, you know, when you're using it, it has a little bit of a blue tint to it uh, and a little bit of yellow tint to it. That's just a sign of, you know, the LED is not a top quality LED when you have tinting in the color. You know, if it's marketed as a white LED, there shouldn't be any tint to it. But again, it's a relatively inexpensive light, a very cheap light, so you're not going to get the best LED quality. But that's okay, it's a, it's a keychain light. So here, the, um, the twist off, if you, you know, slightly, you can actually do this where it's like, you can do a momentary on off by just having it at the right, just at the right um, degree, you can do this. But sometimes you might not want to have it accidentally go off in your pocket, but you know, just another cool thing to think about. So um, again, things I like about it, size, it's small, it's lightweight. The flood capability is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, cost point, six bucks. I mean, it's very cheap. So you can buy the batteries. I think you can get a, a pack of four batteries for like three bucks. It might just be worth, you know, the batteries die out, just buy another one, it's six dollars. Um, I don't like twist on and off. Not a big fan of that. Um, and coin batteries, you know, that can be a little bit of a pain. Um, but it's a small light, you need a small power source. And no lens, there's not a lens on here that protects this light. Uh, again, you know, it's, it's six bucks, so you, you pay what you get for it, but um, it's not a big deal if the lens breaks, you always get another one. So, overall, for its purpose and its function as a keychain light, being small, being lightweight, producing a lot of light, um, and you know having a nice quality material, Streamlight makes good products, so I think it's, uh, it's well worth worth the buy. I also want to talk a little bit about kind of you know packaging and and uh, the things that you might want to look for when you're trying to compare lights. Um, this is the package that it came in. And you'll notice here a couple of logos, uh, you know, runtime, light output, uh, weatherproof. This is basically says, you know, it's weatherproof, it's IPX4, which means that it can withstand water from various directions. It's not immersible, you can't really dip it in water. But the difference here is that this is stream light for this light, and here is the micro stream. Um, a different LED, uh, just a little bit step up. You'll notice that the logos are different. Um, and it's an important thing to pay attention to because actually, you know, what you want to look for is you want to look for this F1, you know, FL1 standard, which is a standard developed by ANSI and NEMA in 2009. Basically, 14 manufacturers got together, they said we need standards, and they come up, they came up with six different standards and these are the corresponding logos so most of, it's a voluntary program but most of the manufacturers nowadays are using this type of standard on their higher quality lights so same manufacturer Streamlight a light that's six bucks they didn't go through the same testing uh, for this light to make sure that it, it, they tested against the, the agreed upon standards you know, testing costs a lot of money, so I guess you know for a cheap light, it wasn't worth it to them to do that. So, when you're comparing lights, make sure you look for, um, you know, ANSI NEMA FL1 2009 standard. Stand standard came out in 2009. It's voluntary, but a lot of the manufacturers are adopting that. So, um, I guess the close uh, Nano Streamlight. Uh, I like it. It's pretty cool. I like having something on my keys that I can uh, provide me with a light source if I need it. Um, has some design issues with this twist thing, but overall, nice light. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, tune in next time for uh, another RD Clutch review.